everyone, it's Darla from Crafty Yarn Owl. Welcome. So today, oh, I have a tutorial for this shawl, I mean this poncho, I'm sorry. And uh, I'll link it up there or down below or both. Yeah. So, um, I want to show you the progress on the little baby sweater that I was making. And also I have happy mail. Happy mail. This is from our lovely Angela from My Precious Yarnery. So let's see what she sent. Oh, beautiful. Okay, wishing you and your family a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Very nice. Very nice. So it looks like she made it. You made this, right? It's like laminated. <laughs> Very nice. Hope you have a great Christmas, love, Angela. My precious yarn made with love. Merry Christmas. Thank you, Angela. Thank you so much. With all that you have going on, I'm amazed that you could do this. Wow. Do you ever sleep? <laughs> Thank you so much, Angela. And she also sent me a 2023 calendar. We are winging it here. So I'll link her channel below. Go and check her out. She's awesome. I've been binge watching your um, the opening of your gifts from Sandy from Crochet A Canada. Um, they did a gift exchange and uh, yeah, so I've been binge watching you, Angela, because I got behind and also uh, Sandy as well. So I'll link both those channels below. I've also been binge watching Cindy, um, the crocheter A. <laughs> I binge watched her yesterday morning because I was I was behind she's opening um, yarn advent from Cambridge yarns here in Canada yes that's fun but is this nice Angela sent me a calendar last year too so I gotta keep this one I kept the other one right in front of me here and then it it's in here somewhere I yeah but um, yeah I'll try to actually I think I'm gonna tape this one I have a box wooden box here with some stuff in it so I'm going to tape it on the outside so it doesn't get lost in the shuffle. Well thank you so much Angela, I really appreciate it. Alright so uh, yeah the baby sweater, the baby sweater. I got a lot work, a lot of it done this weekend. Um, thinking this might be for my next door neighbor who's having a little boy. Our great niece is having a little boy as well. So I'm not sure who I'm going to give this to, but, um, oh, and this design is by Crochet for Baby, and I'll link the tutorial below. Um, she used a three weight yarn. I actually used a four weight. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. I did have the label for the blue one. It's, oh, here it is. <laughs> I got this from Hirschner's Worsted Baby Yarn, and it's a four weight. There are, it's 100% acrylic. There's 22 ounces, 226 grams, 489 yards, 448 meters machine wash and dry. And this color is called Raindrops, I think. Raindrops, and this, that is this blue right here. This is all I have left from that one skein. That was close. I didn't even have enough to do one more row because I was doing the rows around the bottom. But this is a cute baby sweater. So because it's a four weight, I guess it's kind of big, but the baby will grow into it eventually, right? And the, these colors here are this, um, this is also Hirschner's Worsted Baby Yarn, same stats and everything, but it's the color Goldfish. Yeah, so I have lots <laughs> left, because I only put it 
um, in the top, which works around to the back. And I thought of using it for the trim as well. I thought it might be too much. Like, I don't know if these girls are going to like that goldfish color too much. I, I don't know. So I decided to use the weight, the weight, <laughs> the white, <laughs> which was the same kind of yarn. It came in a three pack. I showed uh, the yarn haul from Hirschner's, which I'll link up here or down below as well. And this color, it's white, but it's called clouds. Yeah. So let's take a better look. So this is how it looks. And so I use the white around the trim, around the bottom. And then I need to do a trim around the sleeves. I was kind of looking at the sleeves. I'm wondering, is this, you know, the way she has it in the picture, it's kind of folded over. Oh, let's see. I know the, the it's gonna add a little bit of length to the sleeves. It's, I don't know, I've never had a baby. So I don't know, I hope the sleeves are gonna be long enough. Um, I might have enough to do an extra row on each sleeve. I did the same amount of rows as she did in everything, in everything. Um, except for, I think she did three, no, five rows around the bottom. I, I did three because it's a worsted weight, so hers was a three weight. But, um, eh, I don't know. So... Well, see, I mean, the only thing I really need to do is just the trim on both sleeves. I mean, this, this was a, wow. I mean, it's not hard work. It wasn't hard to make this, but I was trying, trying hard to make the same number of rows as she did and everything, because I wanted to fit whichever baby it ends up going to. You know, maybe, I don't know, maybe by... Winter next year, they'll be able to wear it. I don't even know when they're due. I think, I think they're due somewhere in springtime, maybe. I don't know. I don't know about baby sizes. <laughs> or maybe it won't fit them till they're like two. I don't know. What do you guys think? You guys have a baby, some of you, right? <laughs> but anyway, I think it's, it's, well, I might as well say it turned out really cute. Um, um, she mentioned about buttonholes and I didn't actually make the buttonholes, but she said you could use the holes that are between the stitches here for buttons. She said she's done that. It's worked fine. So I, I just need to find some cute little buttons. I would really like to get little goldfish colored buttons to match this, but... Uh, it might be too much, or maybe maybe I'll just get blue. <laughs> I don't know. I gotta see if I have any. I don't think I have any in my button stash. I don't know, but I know there's a great place to go for buttons, and it's not Michael's. At least the last time I went there for buttons, they were <laughs> they had like just a few. But Fabricland. I'm in Winnipeg. We have Fabricland in Canada here. Um, there's another name for it, maybe Fabricville or something, I'm not sure. But they have tons of buttons, like thousands of buttons. So I might have to go over there, or get some little buttons that'll fit for, through the little spaces between the stitches. Yeah. So what do you guys think? Cute. <laughs> I think it's pretty cute. And that's going to be warm. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys for joining me. And uh, have a wonderful, wonderful day. I'll see you soon.